Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my business goals for 2021. If you guys are interested in seeing more craft, crochet, or business videos, make sure you all subscribe down below and turn on the post notification bell. That way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. Before I start out with this video, I just wanted to wish you guys a happy new year because when this video is going up, it is January 1st today. I really hope you all enjoy your new year, have the best year possible, and achieve any and all goals that you have set. And I'm also super excited that it's almost been one year since I started my Etsy shop. January 4th, which is a Monday this year, will be one year since I started my shop and listed my first item and all of that stuff. So I wanted to just say thank you all for sticking with me for a year, whether you've been here for a day or the whole year. I really appreciate your support and thank you all so much. And also, thank you for 100 subscribers. I reached my first 100 subscribers on Christmas, so a week ago today. So, I am super grateful for all of you that have subscribed, liked, watched, shared, or anything for my videos because it's all super helpful and I am super grateful. Now that I've rambled on about all of that stuff that's happened recently, let's get on to the video. Okay, now I have all of my goals written here and I shared probably about half of these on my Instagram story the other day. So if you guys aren't following me over there and you want to see behind the scenes type stuff, you can make sure you do that because I share little tidbits about videos early and different stuff about that all the time on my stories and in posts. So yes, if you're interested, make sure you check that out. But I'm going to start out with talking about my business goals and then... I may also share my goals for like my personal like school life because I have it all written on here so I might as well just talk about all of it but we'll start out with my business goals. So first for this YouTube channel that you are watching right now my first goal by the end of 2021 is to reach monetization on my YouTube channel and if you don't know monetization is where you can get ads on your videos and you can get paid a portion of the ad revenue. So I'm hoping to have that in the 2021 new year. And that requires 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Which it may be a little bit ambitious of me to want to do that. But my growth has started to really spike recently. So I do think it is possible if I put enough work into this channel during 2021. So, I'm hoping that is the case, and yes, that's my first goal, and I did just want to mention when I'm setting goals, I always make sure that I'm super specific with it, because if you're too broad, then you may not know when you've even achieved the goal, and then also you want to make sure that you put an end date. So, since these are 2021 goals, most of them, the end date would be the end of December of 2021, but... If you have something that you are you want to do in six months or in three months, put an end date on it and say, I want to have this done by the end of March 2021 or by the end of June 2021 or whatever it is, however long you think it'll take you to achieve it. But you also want to make sure that they're reasonable goals and something that's obtainable. Even if it's a little bit like, I may or may not be able to do this, you want to make sure that it's not like I could never do that because you don't want to doubt yourself but also you don't want to be discouraged when you don't achieve any of your goals because you set goals that were too high. So take baby steps and then reach higher goals. Like my goal for this year was 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel which I did and since my growth has been very much picking up the pace recently I figured monetization would not be that big of a goal for 2021 at least I'm hoping. <laughs> so my next goal is to put more of a focus back onto my Etsy shop again because since I've started my YouTube channel and everything, my shop has slipped a little bit and I wanna put more stuff on my shop again and get back into making stuff for it and listing new items and everything. So that's one goal that I have, but the main thing that I wrote down is that I wanna have 15 sales by the end of the year which I think is really reasonable. I'm at seven sales right now, so that that seems pretty reasonable to me. Of course, I would like to have more than 15, but with how my growth went this year on the shop, I think 15 is pretty reasonable. 
Okay, so my next business related goal is I want to go to at least five craft fairs. And now if you don't know what a craft fair is, on like Saturdays and Sundays, they set up like tents and everything and you walk around and there's people that sell like jewelry and sewn stuff and crocheted stuff and all that. And I want to go to at least five of those this year to get my name more out in the community. Since I am an online business, it's hard for people to know that I'm really local to them unless I go to stuff like that. I've been to one in the past, but that was before COVID, of course. But now they have them back up and running just, of course, with masks and social distancing and all that. So since they are back open now, my goal is to go to at least five of them. And my area that I live in is pretty seasonal. So most of those will probably be happening in like the winter time when the snowbirds are here, hopefully. Now, I wrote down on here, work on procrastinating less to get more done. So that's kind of a business and school related thing for me because the things that I procrastinate most are stuff that I don't want to do and the stuff that I don't want to do most is most of my school assignments and tests and exams and stuff like that I never procrastinate to the point where I don't get it done but I just procrastinate to where I'm stressing myself out because I'm so close to the deadline of stuff normally so in 2021 I would like to procrastinate less in order to have stuff done sooner be like a week ahead on my classes and that way I can sit down and film YouTube videos whenever I'm inspired and stuff like that instead of having to wait for a certain day to film YouTube videos because I have to do assignments on another day. Now I did write down to start making two videos a week but I put a question mark on that because I'm not sure if that's going to happen with my school schedule. Normally I take about 13 credit hours this semester I'm taking 15 and already last semester I was a little bit stressed out with the shop and my channel and school and all of that so I'm not sure if two videos a week will be an obtainable goal or not but I just wrote it down to keep the idea sort of in my head and if I feel like I have more time I could do that then it might be something that I start doing so make sure you stick around to know if I ever do that <laughs> Now my final business related goal is to release one crochet pattern a month. So that was my goal originally when I started releasing crochet patterns, but it kind of fell by the wayside because I wasn't crocheting as much because of my YouTube channel and school and everything. But I actually do have quite a few patterns that I've like written on sticky notes and stuff that I could just take and type out the pattern and then listed on my website or on my shop depending on if I want it to be free or paid for and that way I would be releasing one crochet pattern a month so I think it's a pretty obtainable goal considering a lot of times I make stuff anyway and I can't find something that I like online so I just end up making the crochet pattern myself so yes that is my last business goal I'm just gonna like talk about this really quick but I will share my goals for personally myself just really quick so I want to graduate from high school with honors and if you guys don't know my school situation it's complicated but I've explained it a few different times but basically I'm in early admissions and I'm a full-time college student even though I haven't graduated high school if you want more of an explanation on that I'll link this day in my life video that I did a while back where I explained it more so in there because I was doing schoolwork that day and everything so I figured it made sense to explain it in that video but that's my school situation so I will be graduating from high school in 2021 even though I'm not in high school currently well I'm in high school I'm just not taking high school classes it's confusing <laughs> but as, you, as I said, I'm taking college classes, so I also want to graduate with my AA degree from my community college where I'm taking the classes at. Once I'm done with the spring semester, which is the semester coming up, I'll only have two classes left before I get my AA degree, so I'm only going to have two classes that I have to pay for the books and the classes myself. And all the other ones were paid for by my school district, which I am super grateful for and I've definitely worked my butt off for that to be the case, but it has definitely been worth it. But that's another goal of mine is to graduate with my AA degree in 2021. That'll probably be in like 
August at some point and then high school I'll be graduating from in like May of some at some point if we even get to walk across the stage because of COVID. <laughs> but next I have get real estate license and start selling houses by the end of the year. Now this may be something that you don't know. I don't really talk about it very often but I do really want to sell houses and I also love the idea of like flipping houses and renting them or selling them. So that's kind of one of the things that I want to start doing but of course I need money to start flipping the houses and buying houses to flip. So I figured that I would get my real estate license and start selling houses and then I would have money to buy fixer upper houses, fix them up and then sell them for a profit. I don't know if I'll ever do that. If this YouTube channel takes off, that may not even happen. But if it doesn't, that might be my full-time thing and then YouTube be my side thing. I also wrote on here, start preparing for college in 2022. So a lot of this is kind of confusing, but my plan is once I'm graduated with my AA degree in like August, I'm gonna take a gap semester as the fall semester so instead of going straight into university and not having any break between my summer semester and my fall semester i'm going to take a gap semester and during that fall semester i'm going to get my real estate license that way i can be selling houses while i'm working towards my bachelor degree at one of the universities near me now this is all my plan but some of it may or may not happen i don't know what the future holds so that's all of my goals. I hope I did an okay job of explaining why I set these goals, why I think they're obtainable, that kind of stuff, and also just explaining like my plans for the future. And of course the plans may not come true. I may never get my real estate license or ever flip a house once in my life, but it's something that I've thought about and I think I'd be interested in. But of course, you guys will be updated probably at some point on this channel when all of that stuff happens. So yes. Also, I did not write this down, but I did have a thought of making a vlog channel in 2021. And I want to focus on this channel first and growing my audience and everything on this channel. But if you guys are interested in seeing my personal life more and you'd want a vlog channel, you can let me know. It may or may not happen in 2021. It kind of depends on the growth of this channel and how well this channel does. If this channel starts to do really well and I feel like I can expand to a second channel where I share my personal life more, then I may do that. Or if I don't feel like this channel has really grown as much as I want it to, then I'll probably just focus on this channel. But yes, that's kind of all of my goals for this year and kind of my thoughts for what may or may not happen in 2021. So that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what are some of your goals for 2021 or tell me what type of videos you wanna see me make this year. And if you guys wanna see more craft crochet or business videos from me, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. If you guys would like to see more from me, you can check out the description box where I have my social medias, my blog, my Etsy shop, and more videos that I've made linked down there. And with all of that, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!